hey, I'm really excited to introduce you to this piece and explain how the story to this piece developed. Um, first of all, um, you'll get a glimpse of the before uh, right here in the corner. I didn't take a formal picture, but I did want you to see what it looked look like, so I found uh, this picture. So, um, Coastal Bohemian, everything we do is kind of, mostly everything we do is um, nautical, coastal, beachy kind of flair, and um, seriously nothing traditional. But um, here you can see the little details in the corner of this piece. This is, um, it was a, a, a garbagey little piece that I picked up and um, decided to give a new life. So it's the J. Cell Whaling Company, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, established in 2008. And really there is no such thing as the J. Cell Whaling Company. J. Cell is a combination of my name and my boyfriend's name, Jason and Michelle. And we have a restaurant named that in our kitchen. <laughs> and this is um, just something that came about. I fell in love with the whale image. And from there, it kind of just took off. Here you can see the rope wrapped around the uh, spindles um, connecting the legs. And it's a really adorable detail. And little by little by little, I felt it needed more. And then, you know, research a little what the whaling industry did and how things were pulled off. Here you get a little bit of... Um, my idea, since I'm a little bit of a bohemian and nothing's traditional, how I would begin, just begin to decorate this. I would absolutely take this, wrap it around the sides, and I would staple that sucker right on there. I love this fishing net. This is a really nice, you, you could see it in the back, it's not stiff, it has great drapeability. And I would absolutely... Staple that sucker right on to the sides and around the back and wrap it around the legs and just make it a really funky, cool piece. But, I mean, you know, that has to be the type of thing that you like. I go nuts for it. I'm sure anybody that's looking at this um, is either in shock that I would staple that onto a piece of furniture or is like, oh, wow, that's a cool idea. I'm going to do that. So, anyway... A little bit more about the story of this whaling company is that um, we actually have a place down in Myrtle Beach uh, where we have been snowbirding, uh, lucky us, and um, you know, it just felt like I needed an old flair. It's got a, a piratey feel to it. It's, um, I don't know, it looks like an old map that you found or just like the piece is really aged and been around for a long time um yeah i kept saying i need something underneath where um you see i put soaps candles and oils so i kind of went on and said what what did they do in the whaling industry what did they use the whale for and um, and that's when I came up with the idea for that. Um, established in 2008 is when Jason and I personally got together. And so, I mean, to me, it's a, it's a, a, a journey, a little piece. This piece is going to be up for sale. It's going to be up for sale for $169. And, but the thing is, we can do story pieces for anyone. Any couples that are getting married, um, a child's room, we could really pull the whole theme together. It could be an old piece of furniture from the family that you were going to throw out, but now you have an opportunity to do something different. Um, reach out to us at coastalbohemian at gmail.com to discuss any pieces that you are interested in. Uh, upcycling, let's call it upcycling, will be green friendly. Here it is decorated a little bit more with my little sailor, my coconut sailor and, and things like that. This is a piece that I think um, would be great in a little pirate's room.